Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay? Let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7 students. Congratulations! Nandito na tayo sa pinakahuling part ng inyong mga modules. Maraming salamat sa inyong mga patuloy na suporta sa channel na ito. Asahan ninyo natutulungan ko pa rin kayo hanggang sa inyong fourth quarter. Okay? So, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay about scientific notation. Hindi ko na sinama dito yung learning task number 1 dahil alam ko namang kayang-kayo ng sagutan yun. So, bago natin simulan itong learning task number 2, ano nga ba ang scientific notation? Scientific notation is a system of notation used to express very large or very small numbers conveniently. For example, 1 billion or pwede rin namang ganito, masyado siyang maliit. Ito, 4 million ito, masyadong malaki. It uses exponents so as not to require the use of many zeros which can be confusing and lead to errors. A scientific notation is written in the form a times 10 raised to n where a is greater than or equal to 1 but less than positive 10. Ibig sabihin niyan, yung nandito, yung value ng a ay pwedeng lumagpas sa 1 pero hindi siya pwedeng lumagpas sa 10. Okay? Paano nga ba tayo mag-convert or paano nga ba natin isusulat yung mga numbers in scientific notation? For example, number 1, we have 752,000. Ang pinakaunang goal natin dito ay hanapin natin ang pinakaunang non-zero number from left to right. So, ano yung non-zero dito or hindi zero sa number 1? That is 7, di ba? Or 752. Dito natin ilalagay yung decimal point sa pinakaunang number na non-zero. Kasi nga, ang A natin is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. Kaya hindi pwedeng 75 at lalong hindi 752 dahil hindi tayo pwedeng lumagpas sa positive 10. Kaya dito natin ilalagay yung decimal point. Di ba whole number yan? So, paano ba natin imove yung decimal point? So, ilagay muna natin yung 7.52. From here, mag-move tayo hanggang dito sa 7. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 places to the left, ibig sabihin, that is 10 raised to 5. So, kapag pa-left kayo, ang answer is positive. At kapag pa-right naman, the answer is negative. Yung exponent niya. Alright? For example, dito sa number 2, we have 0 0.00073. Sabi ko nga kanina, ang goal ninyo ay ililista ninyo yung non-zero dito sa value ng A. So, ano yung non-zero dito? That is 7, di ba? So, kapag nandito yung decimal point, ilang beses tayo mag-move to the right. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, nandito na yung decimal point and that is 7.3 times 10 raised to negative 4. Negative 4 kasi to the right tayo. At palagi kayo magsisimula sa decimal point dito sa given. Kung nandito yung decimal point, mag start kayo dito. Pero dito kasi nag-start siya dito. Okay? Number 3, we have 8,000. So, ano yung non-zero dyan na number that is 8, di ba? So, from this point, we have 1, 2, 3. That is 8.0. 8.0 or 8, pareho lang din sila, times 10 raised to positive 3. Or, pwede rin namang 8 times 10 raised to 3. Same lang din yan. Number 4, we have 900. So, whole number din siya. Ibig sabihin, ang magiging sagot nito from this point, we have 1, 2. So, that is 9 times 10 raised to positive 2. Okay? Number 5, pareho lang din sila ng number 2. Saan dito ang non-zero number? That is 4.8. 
So, from this point, magmove tayo hanggang dito sa gitna ni 4 at saka 8. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Kaya 4.8 times 10 raised to negative 4. Kasi to the right tayo. Alright? Number 6, we have 86,500. So, whole number ulit. Kaya mag start tayo dito, papunta dito sa gitna ni 8.6. Kasi kailangan natin is less than 10. So, ang ilalagay natin ay 8.65. Ilagay nyo pa rin yung 6 tsaka 5 kasi significant figure yan or significant digit. So, we have ilang move to the left. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. That is positive 4. Okay? Number 7, we have 4 million. Whole number ulit siya. So, mag start kayo dito. Papunta dito sa 4. Okay? So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, that is 4 times 10 raised to positive 6. Ganun lang siya mga anak. Number 8, we have 5.75. Paano naman yan? E, wala siyang 0. Hindi tayo. Magmove. Ibig sabihin, ang magiging sagot nito is 5.75 times 10 raised to 0. Kasi hindi naman tayo nag-move. Kaya 10 raised to 0 siya. Okay? Number 9, we have decimal point dito. Pupunta tayo dito sa 6 para maging 2.6. So, ilang beses tayo mag-move? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, kaya 2.6 times 10 raised to negative 5. Number 10, we have 45. Paano naman yan? Whole number lang siya, walang 0. Ang rule natin is kailangan greater than 1 but less than 10 yung A natin. Is 45 less than 10? Hindi, diba? So, magmove tayo ng ilang beses to the left. The isang... Beses. So, from this point, papunta dito, that is 4.5 times 10 raised to positive 1. Or, 4.5 times 10, kasi yung 10 raised to 1 is understood na positive 10 pa rin yun. Okay? How about letter B? Write the following in decimal notation. Isusulat natin siya sa kanyang decimal notation, kabaliktaran siya ng letter B. Kanina ay sinulat natin yung scientific notation niya. So, kapag 10 raised to 7, ibig sabihin, magdadagdag tayo. Ang una natin gagawin, isulat muna natin yung given na significant digits or significant figure that is 3.3. Kanina, kapag to the left tayo, positive, di ba? Dito naman, kapag positive yung given, to the right tayo magdadagdag. So, from this point, mag-move tayo ng 7 na places. So, bilangin natin. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, maglagay tayo ng 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 na 0 ang idadagdag natin. Pang 7 yung 3. Okay? So, the final answer is 3, 3, tapos ilang 0? 6. So, we have 33 million. Number 2, we have 7.9 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, dito naman negative 3. Isulat muna natin yung significant digits. That is 7.9. Kapag negative naman, magmove tayo to the left. So, ilan yon 3. Kaya, 1, 2, 3. So, ang idadagdag nating 0 ay dalawa. So, the final answer is... 0.0079 Okay? Number 3, we have 3.2 Positive siya, kaya to the right tayo ng dalawang beses. So, 1, 2, isa lang ang idadagdag natin. The final answer is 320. Okay? Number 4, we have 2.85 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, kapag negative 6, to the left tayo. Isulat muna natin, 2.85, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ilan ang idadagdag nating 0? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, the final answer is 0. 
5050, tapos 285. Nakukuha ba? Number 5, we have 9.11 times 10. So, kapag 10 raised to 1, ibig sabihin, mag-move tayo ng isang beses lang. To the right. So, that is, o, oh, dito natin ilalagay. So, magiging 91.1. Number 6, we have 6.25 times 10 raised to 5. So, positive siya, ibig sabihin, to the right. 6.25, mag-move tayo ng limang beses to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ilang zero ang idadagdag natin? Tatlo. Kasi pang lima na yung dalawang significant figure. So, that is 625,000. Number 7, we have 7.51 times 10 raised to negative 9. Dito naman, negative kaya to the left. 7.51. 9 units to the left. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ilan ang idadagdag nating 0? 8 ang idadagdag nating 0. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, pang 9 yung 7. So, we have point zero walong 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 5. One. So, this is now the final answer. Number 8, we have 5.85 times 10 raised to 0. Kapag 10 raised to 0, hindi tayo mag-move, meaning ito pa rin yung magiging sagot. 5.85 pa rin. And then number 9, we have 4.23 times 10 raised to negative 2. Negative, kaya mag-move tayo ng dalawang beses to the left. So, 1, 2, so isa lang ang idadagdag natin and that is... 0.0425 Pwede kayong maglagay ng 0 dito sa unahan niya. Basta dito yung decimal point niya ha. Number 10, 5.19 times 10 raised to 7. So positive tayo. Ibig sabihin, magdadagdag tayo ng 5 0 na lang. Kasi dalawa na to. Okay? So yun yung technique niya. 5, 1, 9, tapos 5 na lang. Kasi dalawa na to o. Oh. 1, 2, tapos 5, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Nasundan nyo ba? So, yun lamang mga anak -shis. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please like at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Kung gusto nyo panoorin yung susunod na video, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa description below. Okay? Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and bye!